In 2014, the Mexican government implemented a sugar-sweetened beverage tax. Does taxing soda reduce how much of it you buy? Hey Nourishable, this is Dr. Lara. Obesity prevalence has been increasing worldwide. In Mexico, 70% of adults are considered overweight or obese. Public health advocates have been promoting a reduction in sugar-sweetened beverages as one method among many to try and curb obesity. This approach is particularly relevant in Mexico, where sugar-sweetened beverages contribute 10% of total daily calories. In January 2014, Mexico applied a one peso per liter tax on sugar-sweetened beverages. This works out to about five cents in US dollars. For a 20 ounce soda, the price would increase by about three cents. In February of 2017, a study was published showing a 7.6% decrease in purchases of sugar-sweetened beverages, with even greater decreases during the second year of the tax. Low socioeconomic households showed an even greater decrease in purchases. And this is especially promising because low socioeconomic households tend to have a higher burden of obesity and related chronic diseases. Two years in, this study shows that the tax is associated with a sustained reduction in unhealthy beverage purchases. The hypothesis is that this will lead to a decreased prevalence of obesity, but it's still too early to tell. We can compare the case study in Mexico to the experience of Ireland. Ireland implemented a sugar-sweetened beverage tax, and they saw a decrease in purchases. Then they eliminated the tax, and they saw that purchases bounced back up again. This is demonstrating that the tax is an effective incentive for purchasing behavior. In the US, Berkeley, Boulder, and Philadelphia have all enacted similar taxes, and consistently they've shown a reduction in purchases. My take on it is that I support measures that modify the environment to make the healthy choice the easiest, most convenient, and most cost-effective choice. I view a sugar-sweetened beverage tax as one tool in the box to help reduce obesity. Other tools include subsidies to make fruits and vegetables more affordable, regulations on marketing unhealthy products to children, nutrition education in schools, and access to safe and affordable physical activity. And all of these different measures can help support an environment that is conducive to healthy lifestyles for everyone. What are your thoughts on a sugar-sweetened beverage tax? Do you think it would modify your purchasing behavior? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for tuning in to Nourishable. If you like what you're learning, give us a like, share, and subscribe.